Now the temperance flag. I'd like to introduce Naomi Roston today, our World WCTU President, who will now open our convention. It is my privilege and pleasure to declare this 40th World Convention of the Women's Christian Temperance Union open. We're going to have a song, Amazing Grace, sung by Dorothy Russell, Gunjan King, and Margaret Austin today. We'll join in Amen and Hallelujah choruses later.
were to have had the um, deputy mayor of Ottawa, David Taylor, as one of our guests tonight, but sadly he's at the policy. But we are privileged to have Rick Heemstra from the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada with us. And I'll ask Rick to come and bring you a greeting. Thank you. Canadian National President Gene Freeman, all the sisters of the White Ribbon that I've had the pleasure to meet, and all of you whom I have the pleasure of addressing this evening. To all of you who are gathered here for this 40th World Convention of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, I bring you greetings from the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. The Evangelical Fellowship of Canada is Canada's Association of Evangelical Christians, denominations, ministry organizations, Christian higher education institutions, and individual congregations. We work to network our affiliates for greater ministry effectiveness. We advocate for biblical principles on, in the courts and here on Parliament Hill, and do ministry research to support the work of our affiliates. And here in Canada and around the world, the Women's Christian Temperance Union has been a forerunner for how to work globally for moral reform in individual lives while advocating for social reform at various levels of government. You have proactively taken up the cause of the vulnerable and steadfastly held to the transforming power of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and in the sanctifying power of His Holy Spirit. Your work, your goals have never been more relevant Addictions still cripple many lives, and governments are moving to normalize and legalize marijuana here in Canada and other places. Women and children are still trapped in prostitution and enslaved by human trafficking. Newly pervasive addictions like internet pornography creates a climate for all kinds of exploitation while breaking up families and crippling people's ability to form them. Your strengths. Your networks, your faith, your perseverance, along with your commitment to adapt your programs to the individuals before you, these are in ever greater need in our families, our schools, our churches, and our countries. Your influence quite simply goes beyond your own tremendous catalog of work, for you inspire others who take up similar advocacy, myself included. You set a pattern a template for how to work with both heart and hand, both locally and nationally. And so from the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada, I say thank you for your work. Thank you for your work in Canada. Thank you for your work around the world. We pray God's blessing on this convention as you make and renew your ties. We pray this will be a time when iron sharpens iron, a time of encouragement, a time of remembering that takes you to the sources and the roots of your movement. We pray that you will leave ready to strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in you, admonishing, serving, and teaching everyone with all wisdom. And so once again, greetings from the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. Welcome and bless. I'll now call upon Jean Freeman from Canada to welcome us. And I'm looking around, I can't see Rona. Wherever she is, she needs to be up there. Mm. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. 